Hi, I'm Chuck with IWS Motor Coaches. Today's a real exciting day for me because I get to share with you this beautiful show hauler motor coach that we had built. We're real excited that we've joined forces with show hauler and we're now gonna be able to offer these real bespoke motor homes. Show hauler only builds a few motor homes a year. We were able to work with them and, and secure some build slots on some limited production numbers and this is number one of what we hope to be many beautiful show haulers. There's quite a few questions um, about the show hauler and why we made a decision to go with them and it really comes back to customizing. Show hauler and IWS, we're all about you know, being that yes company. If you want something, we're gonna go out and try to accomplish it for you. And show hauler is definitely that vehicle where if you really wanna run a, you know, a Peterbilt or a Kenworth or a Volvo chassis, they're gonna accommodate you. We have a lot of industry connections in chassis so we can build that perfect chassis for you and design that perfect motorhome. You know, the only thing that I guess the only drawback to it is you got to understand that we're looking about eight to nine months to even a year on the build. So this particular coach here, we started designing this coach almost a year ago. And, but I think the weight, the weight is definitely worth it as you can see from the quality of it. A little bit about the construction of the show hauler. So show hauler uses steel uh, tube construction. It's a completely welded uh, cage, if you will, and then they sheet it with aluminum. So you have a very rigid structure. They use a one-piece floor. Um, all of the heating and cooling uh, water is all ran inside of the floor, so you can use this coach year-round. The paint job is just exceptional. If you were to run your hands across it, you don't feel any ridges or anything. This is just an amazing, quality of a paint job on this coach. And as you can see, I kind of stand back here, it's just beautiful. The colors are just really, uh, I don't know how to describe it in the sun, they're almost iridescent. Uh, just a beautiful coach. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you a little bit about the power plant on this coach. So we chose the Freightliner Cascadia chassis. It has the Detroit DD16. It's a 15.8 liter, 600 horsepower engine. As I've said before, right now, it's the largest engine on planet Earth that we can have installed into a truck chassis. This one's a little different in the fact that we went with the Detroit 12-speed automated transmission. And what that means is this is a 12-speed manual transmission that shifted automatically. It's fully automated. There's no clutch pedal, no nothing. You drive it just like you would an automatic transmission. The neat thing about this particular transmission is you now have 12 gears rather than six that is normally in an automatic. So you're always going to be finding that right gear ratio or the computer is always going to be keeping you in the sweet spot for the best fuel economy and the best performance. It also has the Bendix blind spot on it so you can see this black pod right here. Um, I want to point it out because a lot of you will be asking on the video what it is. And that's a sensor so that if somebody's in your blind spot, there's lights up in here on the A-pillar that are going to illuminate and there'll be an alarm sound to let you know somebody's in this area. It also has side view cameras on it. So when you turn your turn signal on, it's also looking back on both sides to let you know if somebody's in this area on it. As we move backwards on it, you'll see it has a keyless entry on it. Um, really nice grab handle on it. I'm gonna go ahead and move right up here to the outside entertainment center. Normally, we've only been able to get the smaller 32 inch uh, outside entertainment center. With show hauler, we were able to bring the um, 40 inch TV out with the Polk audio sound bar. Uh, one of the guys in the shop says it only plays polka music <laughs> because it's a polk sound bar. I'm trying to be funny. Um, just a really nice addition on it. Now as we go through all of the storage compartments, this very front compartment here has the Xantrax Freedom 3012 
That's a 3000 watt inverter and it's a pure sign inverter. Just a fantastic inverter for this particular coach. It's everything you would ever want. I know some of you are gonna ask, why is there nothing else in here? And that is show hauler's position on it is that they don't want you to put anything else in here because you know, they don't want water spilling on the inverter. It gets awful hot in here. They wanted to have a lot of room for the heat to be able to uh, dissipate itself. So that's what you're gonna find up here. There's also some fuses and circuit breakers here. Um, I also wanna point out that each one of these has locks on a remote control. As we move back to the next compartment, this is all storage. And what we did with this one, which is very unique that show hauler was allowed us to do, is we were able to design a, a, a pass-through box. So we had them remove the divider and give you one large box here so that you can put stuff through here. Hopefully that shows up good on camera. They also include as standard gas struts on the door so in the wind the doors don't fall or fold around on you. Another thing to point out is it's hard to see on the camera, but we did these really nice clear marker lights. There's one up there here. We did extra marker lights down the side of the coach. I think it really helps to give you a reference point when you're driving at night. Here is dual uh, 110 outlets. You know, some of you that have been following us know that I've switched now to all electric barbecue grills. I like to be able to put it right here or to be able to set up your uh, vacuum packer if you're a fisherman like me to be able to package your fish and stuff. As we move back to this larger compartment here, um, we've done what we call our refrigerator freezer prep package. So it has a slide out tray already installed, comes out um, so you can put your refrigerator freezer or you could just put some storage boxes in here. It has a 12 volt outlet and a 110 outlet, so it's all ready to go if you want to add that. As we move back here, it has tandem rear drives on it with locking rear differentials on it. It's full air ride. Here you can see the locking lights, and as I had mentioned before, these lights kind of just illuminate this area right in here. So when you're backing up the coach, you can see where your tires are when you're backing up. And it's something we try to put on every coach. I feel very strongly that this is a very good uh, spend of money. As you know, I'm a huge fan of the outside area lights. These are a little bit different and we think they're better because they're gonna give you a little more down light coverage. And there's a great big area light there and another area light here. So you can really illuminate this area um, when you're out here, uh, you know, having a picnic or whatever, you can turn these lights on. So I move back into this compartment. This is a storage compartment, but if you can see right here, we have a real um, neat feature on this. And this is something, and this is one of the other reasons that we we're real excited to be able to offer the show hauler brand is they allow us to do a complete pass-through compartment. We have a lot of customers who are using these motorhomes for uh, skiing and fishing and they've got long items and we didn't have anywhere to go. Now we can slide it all the way through here. I do want to point out that a lot of these options are really dependent on the particular floor plan, whether or not there's room. On this one, there's lots of room for this nice pass-through storage compartment. As we go to this next compartment here, this is the o Oasis Aqua Hot Heating System. And I'm gonna slow down just a little bit to kind of explain to you what Aqua Hot is. I think there's a misconception out there that this is in-floor heating, and it's not. What it is though, what it does do is it circulates hot water throughout radiators, uh, heat registers that are located throughout the coach. We also have radiators located in the sewage compartment so that we can keep, keep the basement heated on this thing if you're going down the road in, in really cold weather. And what the AquaHot does is it circulates this hot glycol throughout the motorhome through these radiators. And then let's say, 
uh, you want the bedroom to be warmer than the living room. When the bedroom gets colder, the temperature comes down, the thermostat comes on, and a fan blows the hot air from the heat register into the bedroom. So what's neat is you can have multiple zones inside the motorhome and be able to control the heat in all of them. Another neat feature is when you're driving down the road, you can turn the engine heat on and the engine heat will circulate through here and also circulate throughout the coach and giving you a nice uh, consistent heat. Through these lines is your hot water for the shower and the sink and it's a true continuous hot water. It's diesel fired um, as well as electric burner inside of here. So it's something that works out really well. Um, we had it located in the back. We wanted to um, kind of keep it out of your way so that you had these other storage compartments available. <clears throat> now I'm gonna go back up to the front of the coach and I want to extend the awning. And if you can see up here, we have these beautiful roof mount awnings and I think it just adds another level of elegance to the coach. The neat thing is you can operate it via remote control or you can just step right in the coach right here and operate them. So I'm gonna go ahead and run these out for you. As you'll see as they come out, um, there's two different awnings. So you have the choice to run one awning or two you know, you can stagger them. Um, lots of opportunity available to shade this coach any way you want to. As you can see, when they come out, they drop down because this is the uh, Girard two-stage awning. And it's just a really nice feature. Now you'll notice on the other side of the coach, we have a rooftop uh, awning, but it's false. It's just to make the coach look balanced. We can order them with awnings on both sides of the roof, but on this one, uh, we just did it on one side. Here we are at the back end of this beautiful show hauler and I want to just kind of talk to you a little bit about some of the features that show hauler offers. On this particular coach, we went with their fiberglass rear cap. You can also get it in a flat uh, cap on the back, but we really wanted to make a statement when we brought this show hauler in and really showcase what we feel is the best of the best that they have to offer. You'll see that you have a third rear brake light on here. Uh, real nice and easy to change out LED lights, but you know, in reality, you should never have to change them because they're LED. But as you look up, there's the rear backup camera. There's three LED marker lights there, and then one more on each side. So there's five upper LED marker lights. You have this real nice area light that we had installed on the back. Those of you that know us know we're, we're, we tend to put ladders on the back whenever possible. So this particular coach has a full walk-on roof. So you could go up there and sit in a lawn chair and watch a sporting event or uh, just do some sightseeing, whatever you wanted. That option is available to you. The trailer hitch on this is a 40,000 pound rating. Now that depends on which hitch we hook on here. Currently, we have a smaller hitch tube on here so you can tow a pickup or use a regular receiver. Or we can put the, you know, we can go from 12,000 to 20,000 to 30,000 to a 40,000 pound hitch on the back of here. We've also equipped it with a seven way plug so you can pull your trailer. It also has a camera plug so if you want to run a camera on the back of your trailer, it's all pre plumbed for it. 
These are your glad hands. If you're gonna pull a big trailer with air brakes, you'll connect them in right here. There's a 30 amp uh, AC outlet right here. If you wanna run a cable from here, power cord into your trailer, you would have plenty of power right here to do that. We also had them install the spray away and what that is is a pressurized water port right here. You know, a lot of people maybe want to plug in a hose and spray the windshield off their tow vehicle. We thought it'd be a real nice feature to put this here at the back of the coach. You know, kind of enclosing on the back of this motorhome, it's just, it's just beautiful. That's about all I can say. Well, here we are at the front end of this beautiful show hauler, and I want to take a moment and talk about some of the features up here. So one of the things I want to point out is the mirrors. This has powered mirrors and they're heated. They're very visible. They don't vibrate in the wind. You know, as I've said in other videos, this is a class eight chassis. So this chassis is designed to go a million miles uh, without any problems. It's designed for uh, sleeper teams, driver and a co-driver to get in it and drive 24 hours a day. It's designed for comfort, comfort and stability. This particular coach has an 80,000 uh, pound gross combined vehicle weight. And that means if you were to put the motorhome on a scale with a trailer, it could weigh up to 80,000 pounds. So this is just an incredible chassis. I like to tell everybody you have more chassis than you have motorhome. And that's a position that we want to keep our customers in. We don't want you going down the road, white knuckled, swaying back and forth. We want you to have a chassis and a motorhome that was designed to go down the road, stable. This thing has an 85 mile an hour cruising speed and yet still have brakes to be able to stop you. That's why we equip this coach with full disc brakes. It also has the um, Detroit's adaptive cruise control on it and some other collision mitigation features on this coach. We wanted to just really build a showcase coach. Quite a few people have asked about what it's like getting in and out of these and the grab handle's real big and easy. It's easy to open. I like that you have a, a storage compartment right here. There's a real nice grab handle, so if you want to go up into the coach, it's just here, here, in, and then you're inside of the coach. It's got a real nice uh, handle right here to grab to close the door. And then exiting the coach, you just step right here. You've got a good grab handle here. You've got another grab handle here, and down you go. This coach also has a block heater. So you can either use the aqua hot to heat the engine block or you can plug it in if you want to heat the block from uh, 110 shore power. When we designed this coach, we fully intended our customers to be using it in a year, year round situation. That's why we installed all the block heaters. The extra insulation, this coach has spray foam insulation in the walls. And as you see, it's got upgraded heater features from the Oasis heater in the storage compartments. Right here is where you will fuel the coach up. It has a single 120 gallon fuel tank. That's something we really like, so you only have to fuel the coach from one side. Uh, 120 gallons in here should take you about seven to 800 miles on a fill up. This is where your def fill is. It's really nice when you pull into a truck stop, you can fuel them both from the same uh, location. Now as we move back, you'll see the passenger, or excuse me, the driver's side uh, rear facing camera that's, that can be activated with the turn signals if you want. Now as we move into this first storage compartment, this is where the truck chassis batteries are located. There's also a disconnect switch for these right here. There's also a nice little storage compartment. I like to keep uh, uh, you know, oils and stuff right here. As we come back into this next compartment, this is where we have the house batteries. And these are the batteries that power the coach. 
We've upgraded this to three 8D maintenance free batteries. And believe it or not, them three batteries take up this entire compartment. We wanted you to be able to run all day on just the battery power alone. And to back that up, we've also installed solar panels on the roof. As we come back to this next compartment, this is where the Cummins Onan 12.5 kW generator is. Now in a coach this size, we could have easily put a 10 kW generator in it and you would have been just fine. But we really felt there was money well spent to step up to the 12.5 kW. For those of you that just want to power your trailer or maybe you want to power another coach uh, beside you, we just wanted you to have plenty of power and have no regrets. When you spend this kind of money and you're buying a coach of this caliber, the last thing you want is ha to have any regrets. You know, we don't want you to buy this coach and say, geez, I wish I would have bought a bigger generator. By starting out with the properly sized equipment on it, you hopefully you'll never regret this purchase. As I've said before in a lot of videos, this is generator is designed to run thousands of hours. Um, the best thing you can do is get out and run this generator and exercise it and just let it do what it was meant to do, which is make power. As we come back into this storage compartment, here's one of the uh, storage tanks for the wastewater. Now, what, we did something different on this coach, and it was something that I found from uh, just being out on the road and you know, going to racing events and dry camping is that I really felt we needed more wastewater storage. So on this coach, there's two wastewater storage compartments. You have about 140 gallons of gray water storage and about 140 gallons of black water storage on this coach, which is just an unheard of insane amount of wastewater storage. But you know, if you're at a sporting event and you're there for four or five days, you should, we don't want you to worry about having to dump with that kind of uh, storage on here, you know, you're talking about 300 gallons combined storage of waste, which is just, I mean, we're just very proud to bring that uh, to our customers in this coach. This also has a uh, SantaCon, which is very similar to the macerator, as, as I mentioned before in other videos, it grinds up and emulsifies the byproduct. The neat thing about it is when it's time to dump this tank, this is your sewage hose. Literally, you just stretch this out, stick it in the ground, in the hole, turn the switch on, and you're done. There's no messing with the big three inch hose. And then when you're done, you just set it back inside of here, and you're good. <clears throat> this uh, particular fitting right here is for the black tank washout. So there's a little sprinkler inside of the black tank. Uh, every few dumps, you're gonna hook a hose on there turn the hose on and the sprinkler is going to go inside of the black tank and it washes all the gunk out of the inside of the tank. This right here is the exhaust pipe for the coach and this is the heater or the uh, exhaust pipe for the generator. Show hollered on this one we were able to move the generator from the rear bedroom to the middle of the coach to kind of help you when you're sleeping. As we come back uh, rearward on the coach into this storage compartment, this is where the uh, 50 amp shore power is and it's on a powered cord reel. We also did a surge guard on this one, uh, integrated into the power connector switch. There's also a cable TV connection in here if you wanna hook up to regular cable TV. Uh, we also have, and you'll see when we put the drone and fly over the roof, this has the um, wine guard traveler direct TV dish on top. As we come into the last compartment, here's another sewage tank compartment. And the tanks in here run this way, so they run across the coach, and that's how show hauler is able to get so much wastewater storage. I also want to point out that each of the wastewater compartments have an Oasis heat register in it, so it's going to keep the compartment uh, heated up 
in very cold weather. Now as I move around here, there's a connection point right here and this is a pressurized water spigot. So if you need to get uh, water out of garden hose to wash the coach off, this is where you would make that connection. On this side, this is a switch for the Santa Con. This is the valve for uh, city fill. If you turn it this way in these here, you're gonna fill both of the water tanks, which are under the bed. It has right at 150 gallons of storage underneath the bed. So that's up out of the elements. <clears throat> You also have your water in connection point. When you go to fill the coach, this is where you would fill it. This is a black tank sprinkler, and this is your low point drain. Um, so winterizing this coach is relatively easy. We've already begun making some videos on this coach. Uh, for our advantage videos, as I mentioned earlier, um, in other videos, when you buy a coach from IWS, we provide you with our IWS Advantage package. And what that package consists of is we have an iPad that's made exclusively for you and this coach. And what we do is we film and video how to use all of the technology in this coach and we make little videos from one minute to five minutes. So when you're traveling down the road, let's say you don't remember how to program the generator start feature, you can bring up your iPad, hit that video, and we have a little video walking you through it. If you should ever lose the video, we provide you access to our private um, owners only YouTube channel. And on there we have a lot of features that are exclusive for our customers only. You know, it was my belief when I started this company that we weren't gonna just sell luxury coaches, we were also gonna sell a luxury service package with it. And that is our commitment to be able to be there 24 hours a day, seven days a week to answer questions for you. There are times when maybe, you know, one of us miss a phone call, but we carry a phone with us 24 hours a day to make ourselves available to you. Because I know what it's like to be out there on the road and to not know how to do something and just to have a voice on the other end is so uh, comforting. We also offer with our Advantage package, free car washes when you come by our facility. We have an RV spot here that you can use anytime you're driving by as, no, as long as nobody else is in it. Um, we also offer five year roadside assistance program. So for five years, if you have any problems, you can call a toll free number and we're gonna get a, a tow truck out or somebody out there to service you. Um, just some things that when I went to buy my first motorhome, there were a lot of uncertainties out there and we wanted to put all of these together in a package that's exclusive for you, our customer. We're gonna go ahead and run the slides out on this because a lot of people have asked to look at this coach, what it looks like with the slides in and slides out. We're also gonna go ahead and take the drone and fly over the top. And really, you know, I know I talk a lot and I wanna tell you, those of you that responded to the comments of the last video we did, um, when we did this type of video format, we really listened to you and we wanna keep getting better and really help the RV community understand what these coaches are all about because there's not a lot of dealers all over. I believe Showhauler only has 14 dealers across the United States. So I, you know, I'm really trying to do my best, me and Austin who's filming, to try to uh, really help you understand these coaches. With all of that being said, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and you see the absolute elegance and beauty that's in these Showhauler coaches. And I'd love to see you out on the road.